mountain. You can move a mountain. You can move me if you want to. You can move everything. You can move everything. Having coached uh, lead conversion now within the mortgage industry and in other industries, uh, I can say that the internet consumer is identical. Um, it comes down to the process. They're looking for you, they've asked for information. So you have someone who's ready to purchase and it's a question of handling that lead in the right way. A couple of things that we've found are really critical um, in handling leads. Number one is the timing. Uh, when a lead says that they want to be called at 3 p.m. on a Tuesday, if you get the lead on a Monday, just call it immediately. We've found that internet consumers just want the call straight up, and it makes a huge difference. Uh, if you leave the, the lead 24 hours, the results uh, will diminish. In addition to that, um, using tools that will elevate the perception of you as an expert uh, in your field, uh, which comes back to things like the ebook um, and things like property reports, uh, tip sheets, anything you can do to uh, elevate in their mind uh, you as an expert. And client testimonials also are very, very powerful. Another interesting observation from us has been that some people evaluate the program or try to in two or three months, uh, where in reality we find that some leads are ready to go immediately. You ring them up, I need someone right now is about to go down the road to see CBA or Westpac or what have you, uh, and you get in the door fast and of course you can convert that sale. But there are a heap more in what I would call suspects that turn into prospects down the track. So if the broker has a really good CRM strategy uh, where they're using the property reports, ebooks, many ways of staying in contact. Uh, we have had brokers around the country uh, that have leads pop out six, nine and even 12 months down the track because they followed those processes. And recently we had one that converted was a million dollar deal. One really big advantage uh, is that Help Me Choose uh, designed a platform for us called LTS, the Lead to Sales Platform, um, which was invaluable for me as a sales coach because nationally we could look right across the country and we'd see that we had some individuals in the early stages who were really blaming the tools or blaming the leads and saying these leads aren't good quality. What we realized though, having had some rising stars right around the country that were doing exceptionally, it isn't the leads, but through that LTS platform, we were easily able to attain that it was more the individual or their lack of sales skills or their lack of using mining strategies that actually uh, is the reason for their lack of success. From my experience, there are three things that you need to do in handling a phone call with an internet lead. The first one is to create a greeting. And uh, the greeting is that um, if you go straight into trying to sell your service at the start of a phone call, you have, haven't got any rapport. So um, in making a phone call for any internet lead myself, it's usually uh, something relating to the traffic, the weather, what sort of town they're from, you know, anything that we can have a common bond on. Because if the customer's sort of, you know, laughing or giggling or uh, smiling with you, uh, then you're with them. Then after you have the greeting, the qualifiers the next phase, where what are you looking for? Um, you know, what made you click on our site? Uh, which banks have you spoken to already? Is there anything specific you had in mind? To show the customer that you really have their interest at heart, uh, and you're trying to just sell. And then of course, within that brings to number three, uh, the invitation, and the invitation is about getting an appointment uh, and getting out there. One thing I've seen some brokers do really poorly is they try and do everything on the phone, and they don't get out to see the customer, and the conversion rate is obviously a lot lower in that case. In fact, uh, in our regional areas, we found that, that uh, it, one thing that didn't work for us was having a broker try and handle it all over the phone. We're there in Melbourne and, and the brokers, uh, the customer maybe is in Bendigo and of course they might walk into a local branch because uh, they didn't have that personal touch. You can move a mountain. You can move I think this is a perfect example of the innovation that we have in the industry. We're always coming up with new ideas or taking uh, leaps of faith and uh, I think it's a credit to our CEO Ray Hare for having the faith and the vision to take on such a, uh, an innovative different program uh, to support our brokers in uh, tougher times. I don't believe in anything but myself. I don't believe in anything but myself. But then you